Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to give you a short overview of our new Disney Plus accessible app. In order to add the grid set you'll need to first of all make sure that you're on the latest version of grid 3. So you just click on the update notification there and install. And once you've done that, go to add grid sets and accessible apps and scroll down. And Disney Plus is there and then you can add it in. Before you begin you'll need to create a Disney Plus account and subscription just in a standard browser and then when you open the Disney Plus grid set you'll need to log into that account. So logging in needs to be done manually using the mouse or the touch screen so I'll just click log in here And here I'll just type in my email address and then my password. And if you have more than one profile set up in your account, then you can choose between them using the arrow cells. And then when you have the right one highlighted, just choose select. So now that we're all logged in, we can start to use the grid set. So you can navigate around with the arrows on the left. And when you get to a program that you're ready to watch, just select the watch cell and it will jump into the full screen viewer grid. You can exit with the cross in the corner. And that will take us back to the home grid. If you want to narrow down your browsing, you can use the filter cell here, and then you can choose from a certain type of content or a particular franchise. And then when you browse, the content is filtered. It's also possible to move around a bit more quickly. Rather than just one step at a time, you can jump four cells to the right or down. So that can speed things up. And an alternative is to use the links grid. And here we can go directly to any of the links on the page. We can also obviously search for a specific show. So let's search for Mickey Mouse. And as I'm typing, the results start to populate. I can. I can then navigate around the results until I find the one that I'm interested in watching. You can see here that we're still on the uh, Marvel page. Just to get back to the standard Disney homepage at any point, you can use the cell in the corner. So sometimes you might not want to leap directly into watching a program. You might want to find out a little bit more about it first. So the musical, the musical, the if you highlight the program and then choose select rather than watch, then it will open the page with further information. And you can navigate around this page with the arrows. So we could just start to watch it or we might want to watch a trailer or we could add it to our watch list so when the thing that you're that you want is highlighted then choose select and that's the equivalent of clicking on the highlighted link 
So that's now added to our watch list. From this page, you can also choose a specific season or episode of a show as well. If you select the play button on this page, like so, the video will start playing. You can see here we're not on the grid that gives you the playback controls. So if you find yourself in that position, just click watch and that will jump you to the correct grid. And if we just have a quick look at our watch list now, we'll be able to see the show that we just added. So that's just a way of saving shows that you want to watch later. If you want to change any Disney Plus settings or log out or change profile, then the way to do that is to select any program, choose select, and once you're on this page, then you can see the links across the top here. And so it's possible now just to use the mouse or the touch screen to get into the Disney Plus settings. One reason you might want to do that is to edit a profile. And here we can access parental control settings. So we can make this into a kid's profile with curated content, um, or we can change the content rating to choose what content is, is displayed. To get help while you're using the grid set, you can at any point go to menu and then choose grid guide. And the grid set will stay open, but you will now have some instructions on the right hand side. And when you finish viewing, simply select exit Disney Plus. So that concludes our overview of the Disney Plus accessible app. Happy viewing.